the other one, make that 75. Now there are rules to work out how much you need to exhaust. Um, normally for one fixture, in this case it will be one toilet, you need 25 litres of water. <coughs> um, and then the other standard is 25 litres per square metre. I'm guessing this is about two square metres, so I'll take the higher of those two values, which is 50. For this one, we'll just do 75. Let's see what this looks like. Uh, mechanical MEP air side components and then blowers. Then go down to which one was it? That one. Centrifugal fan inline tube. There's some common sense over there in this program somewhere. <laughs> right. um, okay. And then just place it somewhere near those two wheels. You'll notice at the offset is zero. Um, and we don't want to mount the fan on the floor, so we'll put it up in the ceiling. Uh, let's see what the duct height is here. so that we get an idea of where in the ceiling or what height we can put it at. At 31, we'll do a 3100. So go back to your fan, and make the offset 3100. That should now be in the ceiling space. We'll just confirm that. When, when you offset a um, uh, component like this one is offset from where? The center, the, the, the gravity point, the, the bottom, it the varies. top, the it left, varies. the right. It, sometimes it's the lid point, sometimes yeah. it's the bottom, say the mounting seat. Um, so it depends on the equipment, depends where it's, as an example, that one would be from the bottom because it's sitting Maybe. on the ceiling, on the, on the beam, or? Maybe. This one, this one, this outdoor unit, that will definitely be from the bottom of the... Because it sits on the ground? Yeah. But something like this. I'm guessing this one would be from the bottom as well. Yeah. It's got those mounting feet. But sitting on something. Yeah, but you, you have to check. So do you need to take in consideration, you put 3100 because, so the sitting at 27, so you give yourself an extra 300. That's a, um, the size of the wrap, the wrap that the beams in the sitting, correct? Yeah. Well, I just did 3100 because I know that's, that's the height of this stuff. 
roughly. This one? 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 To go to your section view, you can just double click on this this arrow, and it will go to the section. What what can you do to do it in the 3D view? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Any view where you can see what's going on. So just drag your fan into the roof space. that one over that 500 mil from that one and move both of those into this space here where the, uh, where the hand base is going to be. That way we can have an access panel or a manhole. Space bar. There's one manhole and you can access both fans. Another point in that flex is that's going to pinch there, the air's not going to go anywhere. Just click on the flex, right click, and insert vertex. It's just from the grill to the fan. So do that for both, and I'll just see if I can find a little discharge lever. Given in and out. In and out. If you click on the, the fan coil, yeah, that one gives you. It gives in and out. But instead of that one, how we've gone kind of down and around, could we not have just gone straight like to the top side of it, so the bottom side of it? This fan here. Could we not have just done the duck from there to connect to the top end of it and see the bottom of it? We want to discharge through the wall. 
Okay, so once, have you connected up both bands? No, mm -hmm. so I've never the side to on. I'm not going to make my to do it. We want to connect it to... Well, so, yeah, did you send Yeah, to the bottom. Yeah. Because we want to have to be mm -hmm. a certain... That's clever. Yeah, all right. Okay, looks much better. Thanks. Easy. Yeah, it's low. Mm -hmm. 